deer shown here. The MACD is one of the most widely used indicators. This is probably due to the simplicity of calculation and reliability of the signals. The MACD uses two moving averages, these two. They are most often exponential moving averages and I subtract the longer period MA from the shorter period MA and the result is a line that oscillates above and below zero. That line is the yellow one here called the MACD line. Here it crosses zero, also center line, as well as here and here. I have plotted two corresponding MAs here to show you what the MACD tells us. Normally the two MAs will not be plotted on your charts when you plot MACD on. First, when the gap between the two MAs are increasing, the MACD line will drop. Second, when the gap between the two MAs are decreasing, the MACD line will rise. And third, when the MACD line crosses through the center line, it tells us that the two MAs are crossing over. The gap between the two MAs shows the momentum. So the MACD line gives us an easy way to see that the momentum is changing. The most used settings for the MACD is a 26 and a 12 period exponential moving average. You see the settings here. You can choose a shorter EMA if you want to. It will result in probably more trades but more whip source. So you have to backtest to see if those more trades will give you a bigger profit despite of a few more whip source. Usually a 9 EMA is plotted together with the MACD to give you a quicker signal. You see the 9 EMA here. And here's a crossover so that's your signal instead of over here. But I will get into more details about the entry. Usually when you have a MACD plotted on your chart, you will also have a histogram plotted on. You see this here. The histogram tells us the momentum between the MACD line and the trigger line. When the MACD line is underneath the trigger line, you will have a negative histogram. When the MACD line is above the trigger line, you will have a positive histogram. We can use this histogram to tell us whether the momentum is increasing or decreasing. For example, if you look at your MACD line here, you see that it's dropping nicely. So you would think that the momentum is still intact to the downside. But by looking at your histogram, you can see that it makes a higher low, telling us that the gap between the MACD line and the trigger line is decreasing. So if you were in a trade having a nice profit, you might consider taking some off the table because you're seeing this momentum shift. Okay, now you know how the MACD works. So I'll show you how to enter using the MACD crossover of the trigger line. First, I identify the trend. I see that my MA is upsloping, so my trend is up. This means I will be ignoring MACD crossover of the trigger line to the downside like this one and this one. Second, I'll be looking for pullbacks to the MA here and here. This is because I believe the best trades comes after consolidation and I define consolidation as pulling back to the MA. And third, I look for my MACD crossover of the trigger line here and here. I ignore this signal because I believe the price is too far away from the MA, giving me a bad risk to reward. Here's another way to use MACD for entries. I don't just use the MACD crossover here, I also add divergence to the trade, giving me a higher odds trade. First, I look for price to make a higher high compared to the old high, and MACD to make a lower high compared to the old high. This is MACD divergence. Second, I look for MACD to climb fast, to suddenly stall, and drop fast. This is telling me that it probably caught a lot of traders on the wrong side, 
adding fuel to the fire. And third, I look for the MACD to cross underneath the trigger line. This gives me my short signal, a high odds trade in my opinion. Okay, so you have seen how to use the MACD line for entries. Now I'll show you how to use the MACD histogram for an entry. As explained earlier, the histogram shows the gap between the trigger line and the MACD line. So it's a more short-term indicator and more prone to whip source than the MACD line. So it's very important for you to do extra analysis before trading this short-term indicator. First, I see that I got one, two, and three almost equal highs. So I can see that there is some sort of resistance up here adding extra evidence to my trade. Second, I look for MACD histogram divergence. I see that price makes a higher high compared to the old high and the histogram makes a lower high compared to the old high. And third, there's two entry signals here. The first one is a bar closing underneath the prior three bars. Or when the MACD histogram goes into negative territory here. Both of these entry signals are very good. This ends today's video. I hope you enjoyed it.